He is known for his contributions to the field of philosophy and his pioneering work on drama. He is recognized for his famous publication titled Laocoon, or The Limitations of Poetry. He is Gotthold Ephraim Lessing. Gotthold Ephraim Lessing, a prominent figure in the German Enlightenment, was not just a philosopher and playwright, but a man of many talents and passions. Born in the small town of Kamenz, Saxony, to a Lutheran minister and his wife, Lessing's upbringing seemed destined to follow a path of theology. However, his insatiable curiosity led him down a different road. As a young man, Lessing attended the Latin school in Kamenz and later the prestigious Fürstenschule St. Afra in Meissen. It was during his time at Leipzig University that Lessing's love for the arts truly blossomed. He became enamored with the world of theater, thanks to his relationship with Caroline Neuber, a renowned German actress. Their connection sparked his interest in playwriting, and he soon penned his first play, The Young Scholar, which was successfully produced in 1748. Lessing's intellectual pursuits took him to Leipzig and Berlin, where he worked as a critic and editor for various publications. His sharp insights and deep understanding of drama earned him recognition as a serious critic and theorist. In 1752, he obtained his master's degree in Wittenberg and began his career as a writer. The Seven Years' War between Britain and France had a profound impact on Europe, and Lessing found himself in Breslau as the secretary to General Toancian. It was during this time that he wrote his influential work, Laocoon, or The Limitations of Poetry, which explored the boundaries and possibilities of art. Returning to Berlin in 1765, Lessing ventured to Hamburg in 1767 to work at the newly established Hamburg National Theater. There, he met Eva Koenig, who would become his wife. Lessing's passion for theater and his critical insights led him to be recognized as the first dramaturge, playing a pivotal role in shaping the direction of German theater. Lessing's intellectual pursuits extended beyond the stage. In 1770, he became the librarian at the Ducal Library in Wolfenbüttel, where he tirelessly worked and embarked on numerous journeys. He was initiated into Freemasonry in 1771 and continued to explore philosophical and mathematical puzzles. Throughout his life, Lessing maintained a close friendship with the Jewish-German philosopher Moses Mendelssohn, a relationship that symbolized the Enlightenment's call for religious tolerance. Inspired by his friendship, Lessing delved into religious debates, leading him to write passionate pamphlets that were eventually banned. This banishment ignited his desire to return to theater and express his views, resulting in his masterpiece, Nathan the Wise. Sadly, Lessing's life was cut short at the age of 52 during a visit to Brunswick. His legacy, however, lives on as a beacon of intellectual curiosity, artistic expression, and a fervent advocate for religious tolerance. Gotthold Ephraim Lessing's contributions to philosophy, literature, and theater continue to inspire generations, reminding us of the power of knowledge, creativity, and open-mindedness in shaping our world. Gotthold Ephraim Lessing, a prominent figure of the Enlightenment era, dedicated his life to the pursuit of knowledge and the advancement of literature and theater. Early on, Lessing showed a keen interest in the theater and sought to revolutionize the German theater scene. He challenged the prevailing literary theories of his time, particularly those of Gottsched and his followers, who adhered to strict neoclassical rules of form and genre separation. Lessing believed that the French Academy had devalued the true essence of drama, and thus, he advocated for a return to the outline of drama as outlined in Aristotle's Poetics. His repeated opinions on this matter influenced a new movement in theater known as Sturm und Drang, which rejected the rigid rules of traditional theater. Lessing's contributions to theater did not stop there. He also played a pivotal role in promoting the serious reception of Shakespeare's works, which were relatively unknown in Germany at the time. Lessing recognized the artistic and intellectual value of Shakespeare's plays and worked closely with theater groups to ensure their proper staging and interpretation. His efforts in this regard helped establish Shakespeare as a significant figure in German theater. In addition to his work in the theater, Lessing made significant contributions to religious and philosophical thought. He staunchly defended the faithful Christian's right to freedom of thought, challenging the orthodox doctrine that held on to a literal interpretation of the Bible. Lessing argued against the belief in revelation and questioned the use of miracles as evidence for Christianity. He famously referred to this dilemma as, Lessing's ditch, acknowledging the insurmountable gap between his own rational thinking and the orthodox views of his time. As a child of the Enlightenment, Lessing advocated for a, Christianity of reason, which emphasized the importance of individual reasoning and the spirit of religion. He believed that human reason could develop and flourish without the need for divine revelation. In his writing, The Education of Humankind, Lessing eloquently laid out his position, advocating for a more enlightened and inclusive understanding of religion. Throughout his life, Lessing championed the idea of freedom, not just in the realm of religion and philosophy, but also in society. 
He passionately advocated for the liberation of the middle and upper classes from the oppressive influence of the nobility, urging individuals to think for themselves and make their own choices. Lessing's influence extended beyond his own time. His critical work, Laocoon, an essay on the limits of painting and poetry, is still regarded as a seminal piece in the field of literary criticism. In this essay, Lessing argued against the idea of trying to write poetry using the same techniques as painting, emphasizing the distinct characteristics and strengths of each art form. Gotthold Ephraim Lessing's philosophy and writings continue to resonate today. His commitment to reason, freedom, and the pursuit of knowledge serves as a guiding light in our daily lives. By embracing critical thinking, questioning orthodox beliefs, and valuing individual autonomy, we can navigate the complexities of modern existence with clarity and purpose. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.